What's up everybody? It's Enes here. Welcome to another episode. This week, we're in the Brentwood Park neighborhood of Los Angeles. We're surrounded by some incredible properties. And today, we will be touring a property with a basketball court, putting green, sprawling lawns, and 10,000 square feet of interior space. So, let's get started. This property is located on 12855 Parking Street. It has seven bedrooms, 12 baths, 10,299 square feet of interior space on a 26,879 square feet flat lot, which is uncommon for LA standards. And this property is currently on the market for $14,200,000. And before we get started with the tour, I want to thank the listing agent, Fiora Ashton, for allowing us to tour her amazing listing. All right, let's start with the exterior of this home. So we have a motor court right here leading to the three car garage and the same motor court continues here and exits that way. Nice patterned concrete driveway over here. On the exterior of the home, this is a Mediterranean style. So we see a lot of smooth white stucco, red roof tiles, and these detailed roof rafters right here, which you can see copper gutters throughout, a lot of window details and beautiful entry right here with a nice little curve on top. So let's get started. Look at the size of this door, pretty cool. So the entry, it's nice and open here. First thing I would like to talk about is the chandelier right here that is connected to the ceiling and there's a nice skylight that has a dome effect bringing so much natural light into this entry. It's a nice and open space. Let's go right here. This is the staircase that takes you up to the second floor, but what I like is that each riser is actually a, a full slab natural stone, which I thought was a really cool touch. All right, right here, we have a powder room for the first floor, and this is a really cool vanity right here. Look at all the woodwork and details, all sconces on the, floor, uh, on the wall, straightforward powder room. And this door right here, I feel like, a lot of people complain that we're not showing the garages. There you have it. Well, they're this, not, not going to be complaining for long. Not this time. Well, there's three car garage right here. And actually, Mikey, why don't you come over here real quick? I want to show this side. This is an interesting touch. I don't know what the owners were using this for, but there's built-ins here all along this side. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, a lot of storage, right? And it's a big car garage. It's also, there's ceilings are definitely high here, which I feel like we're not used to seeing that much. All right, so let's go back into the house. I'll wait for you, Mikey. Yeah. All righty. Always. Always. All right, let's continue this hallway right here. And the room we have on our right-hand side is the formal living room area. First of all, I really like these couches. Um, but double height ceilings here. I like the two-story windows. French doors opening up to your one side of your backyard and nice and open space. I really like these oversized fireplaces. This thing is as tall as me almost. All right, so this is the family room. This is the entertainment area. A lot of built-ins on that side. Same oversized gas fireplaces also over there. There's a projector system right here and you can actually see the projectors right above the bar area. And since we're right here, let's talk about this bar. It's nice, there's actually a cozy little sink right here. This is where you keep all your drinks, all that good stuff. Built-ins continue this way. And what's nice about this room is that it also opens up to your backyard. All these curved um, French doors open up to your patio space. What's nice is that it's covered so you can actually leave these doors open even when it's raining. So let's continue this way. We have a couple small little rooms here, so let's touch on them real quick. Another powder room. You gotta like these sinks. They're a little unique. I mean, I meant faucets. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 
That's right. So powder room, this is a pantry space and there's additional fridge right here. But if you continue that way, right through this opening, we have the formal dining room. But what's nice is that they have this huge area off of the entry. Essentially, it's more like a storage space, countertop space. So when you're entertaining, when you have people over, you can serve the food here. There's a nice little sink. It's a nice touch because you have a formal dining room area. That's the entry right behind us. Nice chandelier, perfectly situated table. A lot of warm tones in this room, a lot of molding details, and I like these grid windows. I mean, these are almost floor to ceiling, bringing a lot of natural light in to this room. Yeah. Let's All check right. out that kitchen. That's right. Let's do it. Okay. You have your sink set up and your dishwasher right here. Mikey, why don't you come this side? This is a cool little touch. This window kicks out a little bit. There's all that countertop space here, but that kick out allows them to put side windows and the window up front, kind of getting more natural light out of this opening right here, which I thought was a cool touch. Your breakfast nook, little TV, nice chandelier, and look at this round curved wall, just with all these great windows bringing natural light in, but Look at, it, look at the view that you're looking. It's all your backyard. All you're seeing is the palm trees, these tool brushes, and then your pool area, which I think is really cool. I feel like we're like at the White House right now. I know, I know. It's so private. This property is so private. You feel like you're in your own zone once you step into the property. A lot of cabinetry here. We have the island set up. Also serves as a bar. Another sink right here. Another dishwasher actually right here. Your built-ins are all here. You have your espresso maker, what else you need? That's right. That's right. And you have your fridge right here, gas cooktop, melee hood vent, and you have your freezer on this side. So I want to take a little bit of a different route. Instead of going back into the house, why don't we go through these French doors right here so we can take a look at the one part of the backyard. This house has two backyards, essentially. This is the front, I want to say front lawn. And this is the extension of your living room area. I like the uh, wood beam details on the ceiling here, these unique ceiling fans. Again, this is a Mediterranean home, so there's a little bit of that warm touches, a little bit of the molding details on the stucco, these curved French doors. But interesting detail, Mike, a lot of people will overlook this. These metal pans are for waterproofing the sills of these doors. It's a really nice touch actually. Do they just put like silicone gel to lock that in? Seal that's that? right. That's right. Because these things will not soak any water in. If you just leave the wood uh, door sills, they tend to rot over time. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people overlooks that. So you have a little bit of an outdoor dining area right here. And here's another cool fact. This ceiling is being held by these columns right here. Again, bringing that Mediterranean touch. So let's talk about this backyard how nice it is to be here. It's a good space, it's private, you're secluded, it's quiet. I mean, it kind of has everything you need. And what I mean by that is you have your pool area, you have your grass area, you're definitely private. Even the fence walls throughout the property is so high, you don't even see any of your neighbors, they don't see you. And you have this beautiful pool right here, surrounded by palm trees. You have a rock waterfall right there. And Mikey, why don't we go that way, actually. So this pool tapers. It starts pretty shallow right there, and it has a smooth transition going all the way to the deep side. I feel like this is a perfect pool for a family, you know, anybody at any age that wants to enjoy this pool. There's actually one more area I want to take you guys. Let's go up these stairs. So this is where you have your hot tub spa, and it actually overflows into your pool. And since we're right here, you can actually get a perfect look to the back, uh, perfect look to the exterior of this home. Again, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we see a lot of those tile roof elements, a couple of the chimneys. Another detail that complements the Mediterranean look are these stone railings on the second floor balcony. Like we talked before, the column details. It's a nice, elegant, kind of timeless home throughout. That wraps up our tour on the backyard. Now, let's follow this area real quick. So we can touch on a couple of the details on the backyard and go back into the property. Since this house was built for entertaining, we have an outdoor barbecue area right here, right next to the outdoor dining room. And let's go through this area because I want to show you guys this room. All right, 
What do we got? So you, ha you have your outdoor entertainment area, you have your pool, you have your secondary, kind of like a little kitchen area. So when you're cooking here, you have a little kitchen to complement that um, outdoor barbecue You can area. serve people here, these windows open up right here, so. That's right. You can have a bartender, whatever. It's a nice touch, and I mean, this can almost qualify for a full kitchen. The only thing is missing is a stove. Right behind you guys, we have a toilet room, and right here, let me turn on the lights. We have a walk-in shower, again, for the pool area. Pretty straightforward. I feel like we're missing some more on this floor, though. We're not missing, we're about to see it. So there's actually more rooms on this floor. This is a 10,000 square feet house, so there's a lot to see. Boom. Laundry room on this floor, pretty spacious, a lot of cabinetry, your washer dryer right here. Mikey, come on. Come here real quick. Look at all these built-in cabinetry right here. It's a lot of storage. Yeah. A lot. But again, this size of home, you have seven bedrooms, you have a lot of people living in this space, so you need it. All right, so these stairs go down to the basement level, and that's right, this house has a basement, but before we go there, there are two more rooms here that I wanna show you guys. Room number one, currently staged as an office, we have the desk right here. And I actually like the pictures on the wall right there. You know, planet Earth. Mm-hmm. All right, Mikey, why don't you come this way? This bedroom has an in-suite bathroom. I like the vanity set up here. It has ornate details. This bathroom also has a walk-in shower and a tub setup. Getting out of this bathroom, let's go back to the hallway. Another bedroom on the left-hand side. Your closet space, bed is situated here. This one has a little bit of a different uh, vanity setup, marble countertops, walk-in shower, pretty straightforward. So that wraps up the last room on this level. Here's another door, patio door, going out to the second backyard area, but we're not touring there next. In fact, we're taking this hallway going downstairs so we can take a look at the basement. Follow me. Yes, this home has a basement. That's right. Here we have the utility room. People always ask us like, show us every room. There you have it, utility room. This is where you, all, you have all your furnaces, water heaters. All right, back on the hallway. So the basement has a bedroom and this entertainment area, right? Built-in speakers, huge screen over here. There's patio doors actually opening up where you can access to your main backyard. Nice seating, gas fireplace on that side, projector. And we have the pool table on this side. And this room continues. There's a little kitchen here, which is really nice because this whole area can serve as like a guest quarters, their own living room. And there's a bedroom actually on this side. Nice bar seating here, nice and open. And actually, have you seen these TVs with uh, refrigerators with screens? You know, this is a beautiful house, but I kind of have a policy, like I'm gonna keep my TVs on the wall and my refrigerators as refrigerators, you know? Why make these things smart? That's right, I mean, you have a valid point. We disagree with very little on this channel, but yeah. I disagree with Samsung for we, making this refrigerator. Yeah, I never thought about it the way you just said it. it makes sense, I mean, now I'm bothered too. Aren't we connected like, enough? Like, yeah. yeah. Does our refrigerators need to be that smart? Yeah. All right, we have another bedroom here with built-in closets and its own bathroom. So that wraps our tour on the basement level. We're going back to the stairs so we can take a look at second floor where we have all the bedrooms. We have a nice little opening here, perfect for featuring your art. And here we have the landing of the second floor. We're gonna start right here with these double doors 
and this is your master bedroom area. Nice and open, a lot of natural light, beautiful curved French doors opening up to the balcony for this bedroom. And let's start right here. We have a closet in the bathroom. This is one side of the closet. A lot of storage, built-ins, hangers, kind of everything you would need. So on this side, we have her side of the bathroom. Vanity on this side, a lot of mirrors, makeup area. This is a huge walk-in shower. And you know it's a serious rain head when there's two water connections right above. That's some serious rain head. Handheld sprays. It's a steam shower as well. Pretty good side. Right here we have the built-in tub. It's jetted. It's pretty big. And not only that, look at all these quartz around it for you to put your stuff to kind of magnify this tub. TV right in front of it. Check this out, Mikey. Why don't you get close there? Look at all the engravings on that glass window. And lastly, we have the toilet right here. If you are close, voila. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. All right, back into the massive bedroom so we can take a look at the other side of the closet and the other bathroom. Same style continues here, a lot of shelves. This is his side of the massive bathroom, walk-in shower, rain head, body sprays. And this is where you have the vanity set up. It's a little bit smaller than the other side. All right, back into the master bedroom to give everybody a little bit of reference. And right here, we have this curved wall on the kitchen down below. And right here is a little seating area. You get a perfect look to your backyard. Nice and peaceful here. And since we're right here, we have a comfortable seating. I would like to ask all of you to give it a like. If you have any questions, drop us a comment. If you haven't already, you gotta subscribe to our channel because we tour incredible homes every single week. That's pretty amazing. So let's go through these French doors real quick. So this is the master bedroom balcony, nice and open. You can see the stone railings that we talked when we were back there. It's nice and private out here. It's so peaceful. I feel like I keep using the word peaceful a lot, but that's what Brentwood is about. It's kind of secluded from the city. And like you guys can see, this backyard gets a lot of natural light. I can barely keep my eyes open here. Yeah, you need some sunglasses. Let's That's see. right. Let's go back inside. It's a little, little bright out here. Let's do that. So we're going to go this way. Another French doors. Takes us back into the master bedroom. And if you go back to the hallway, you may think that's pretty much it for the master bedroom, but it's not. Master bedroom is connected to this room. This is where you get your massage. It's like an additional living square footage for the master bedroom. You get high ceilings here. You have your wine refrigerator here. Kind of a multi-use room. Seems like somewhere you'd put maybe like some exercise equipment, bench press, maybe elliptical, something. Or maybe a little office, you yeah. know? You can do a lot of things with it. And just in case, this bedroom has vanity, tub setup, check this out. A little sauna action right here. All right, back to the second floor landing. Now let's check out the rest of the bedrooms. At the end of the second floor landing, we have a nice skylight right here, bringing a lot of natural light in. Also, I wanna mention this house has an elevator. It comes from basement level all the way up to here. Um, house this size, I feel like having an elevator is a good plus. Bedroom on this side, Currently staged as an office, almost like a second living room. Same French doors open up to the backyard, high ceilings here. Mikey, why don't you follow me? This bedroom also has a bathroom, double vanity, marble countertops. Check it out. Walk in shower right there. Yeah. And a tub setup as well. Also, this bedroom has a walk in closet right here. Let's get back to the hallway. So we can check out the bedroom next door. This one is a little bit bigger, same balcony space, same French doors opening up to the balcony. Is that the balcony shared with the master? That's right. All these bedrooms are sharing the balcony. A little bit of a makeup area, walk-in closet. This one also has its own bathroom, kind of the marble vanity set up here as well, tub, walk-in shower. And a bit of a skylight. The right skylight there. was over the tub in the other room too. It's mm -hmm. nice. So, let's get back to the hallway. 
so we can go to the other wing. By the way, that's the staircase coming up all the way from basement all the way to the floor. And this is the last wing, last hallway. More skylights. More skylights. Another bedroom. This one faces the other backyard. Has a walk-in closet and has its own shower. I mean, bathroom. Kind of the same tones are here as well. Nice and vanity with a marble countertop. Walk-in shower, top side up again. And now, it is time. It is time we check out that other backyard. Let's just say more fun backyard. Boom. You open up these uh, doors. There's a balcony space for the bedroom that we just toured. And this is the other side of your backyard. This is where you have the exciting stuff. So let me go down and show you guys around. People would be stoked to have a backyard like this in LA and you have twice the size because you have another backyard on the other side. And you have the basketball court right here, full size, which is amazing. The fact that you have this in your backyard is so cool. On that side, we have the putting green. So let me take you there. And the reason I wanted to walk this is to show you guys how big this backyard is. This is the putting green area. And this is one of the gates that opens up to your backyard, motor court area. You can have parties here. You can have a lot of people to entertain and you have the space for it. Lastly, in this backyard, we have a nice little fountain right in the center and the steps right here which opens up to your former living room area and nice little outdoor seating area with a gas fire pit. And that's pretty much it for this house. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, make sure to give us a like, drop us a comment, let us know what you think about Brentwood, what do you think about this house. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you're still watching this video, you're a real supporter. I really appreciate it. It's been a crazy ride the last eight to 10 months since we started this channel. We've gotten so much support. This channel would have never grown as quickly as it has without the support of each and every one of you who is still watching this video. So I wanna thank all of you from bottom of my heart and we'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.